Well, hi there, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. A transition day today as a cold front will make its way through during the morning hours. Waking up with some patchy fog this morning, otherwise mostly clear skies. The clouds that are showing up in future casts in the southern parts of the viewing area really aren't even there. Now, the ones to the north, they are there, and they will be thickening up from north to south as we go through your day today. So the farther south you go, the warmer it will be. Cooler air starts to come in later on in the day from the north and the northwest. And the winds will pick up out of the north and northwest behind that cold front at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now the question, we see a couple of spotty sprinkles or light showers late this afternoon into the evening hours. Most of us won't see much of anything though. Then after midnight tonight, we'll start to clear up the skies and chilly air settles in that area of cooler high pressure. So look for a lot of 40s as we wake up early tomorrow morning. But once we uh, good, get the uh, sunlight out there and go through the day, light winds, lots of sunshine, looks like a pretty good day on the way on your Friday, even though it will be cooler for your Friday. We're looking at highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s, which is pretty much spot on for our average highs this time of the year. So we should be doing pretty good for your Friday afternoon. That warm front off to the northwest there, that will make its way through and we're going to see a much warmer weekend on the way with plenty of sunshine sticking around. Highs today will top out in the uh, upper 60s, low to mid 70s up north. Keep in mind, many of these places will see falling temperatures this afternoon as that front comes through and those clouds thicken up. Again, many places seeing a lot of early morning sunshine and then thickening clouds later on today. The farther south you live, the longer it'll take for those clouds to fill in, which means it'll be a warmer day the farther south you go. Out to the west, mid to upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. In the south, mid 80s down in northern Kansas, mid to upper 70s around the Tri-Cities, mid to upper 70s to the lower 80s as you get out towards the east. Looking at your 7-day forecast, our chances of rain are not very good for today, late this afternoon into this evening, but they're about the best chance we have for the next seven days and probably even beyond as we're going to be looking at very quiet conditions as we go through the next seven days here. Again, that little cool down for tomorrow, that chilly start, but a nice afternoon. Very warm weekend ahead of us. If you're heading to the Husker game, probably take some sunscreen out there. Plenty of sunshine, a bit on the breezy side on Saturday afternoon. The warmest days on Sunday, and I would not be surprised if somebody hits 90 degrees on Sunday. And then we drop off quite a bit behind a front that comes through Sunday night, so we'll see highs only in the lower 70s on Monday. But then back into the upper 70s on Tuesday, we'll start to drop off again on Wednesday as another cold front comes through, but another dry front. So not expecting any kind of precipitation, I think, just beyond this forecast for Thursday into Friday. Much cooler conditions will settle into the area. But really, that forecast looks pretty good. It's good for harvest season with the dry conditions. Bit of a roller coaster ride, but it is a warm roller coaster ride over these next seven days. So there you go. There is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great Thursday.